Hello, this is Evangelist Dr. Robert L. McKim Sr. from Carrollton, Ohio. On this Sunday, August the 22nd, 2021, I want to preach to you a little bit here about faith without works is dead. That's found in James 2, starting here with 17. Thus, faith by itself is, it is, excuse me, if it does not have works, is dead. Some, but some one will say, you have faith, and I have works. Show me your faith without works. But I say, show me your faith by my works. You believe that there is one God. You do well. Even the demons believe and tremble. Even the demons believe and tremble. But do you want to know, O oh foolish man, that faith without works is dead? In other words, faith and works. Good works goes hand in hand. Because... Doing good works, the works that Jesus said we're supposed to be doing as believers, builds us crowns in heaven, a reward. I mean, builds us up rewards in heaven, which are crowns, and our crowns then we will then lay at the feet of Jesus and crown Jesus Lord of Lords and King of Kings. But of course, that spiritual, that spiritual, supernatural spiritual side of God is something that is so far out there that a lot of people can't even fathom the thought of what will really happen when our time comes. We have the scripture that tells us, but still being there in our spiritual bodies and crowning Jesus with the crowns that we will receive for the good works that we've done, we've done here on earth because of our faith in God and Christ Jesus is basically it is so I can't wait until that day happens because I'm sick and tired of my stalkers that I have on Kiwi Farms and and even those that do not go to uh, Kiwi Farms by following me on my YouTube channels and also follow me on uh, social media there's, there's a person that is working for the gas and oil right now in my area here possibly working on the pipeline because there's more pipeline going in my area here where I live at in Carroll County Ohio <clears throat> there's a person that's been going around taking pictures of the certain places of the area one day they asked me a question what 
is all this plastic covering these things at the old coal for um, manufacturing where they used to manufacture uh, truck axles sorry per girl's been kind of wanting to be babied here a lot and wants me to hold on to her or Renee but mostly me anyhow I answer their question and I told them hey if you're stalking me prove it if you're physically stalking me prove it so one day they posted a, 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 a picture of the mailboxes at the entrance to my mobile home park that I live in then another day they posed a picture that they took standing or driving by my mobile home of my porch and I know it had to be a recent photograph because uh, the flag, the, yard, the garden flag is what they're called yard flag that I have in front of my house trailer that was of an eagle and it said freedom and I put that out there on July the 1st Her girl will you make up your mind and lay still she can't make up her mind here so <laughs> she likes to move around so I put I put out out there I no. I put that out there on July the 1st. Of course, I just changed it here on yesterday, the 20th. I mean, no, I was Friday, excuse me, Friday the 20th. With another flag. So, if you're stalking me, come back by again and take another new picture with my new flag so I can show the authorities that you're stalking me <coughs> but here's something that that person just did today they were at the local speedway gas station across from the chop house and the um, car dealer in between um, Taco Bell and um, Pizza Hut and they made a short video admitting that they work for the gas and oil company they had a day off today so they went to get gas and they made a short video videotaping 43 Canton Road that runs there in front of Speedway trying to look for me well evidently that person ever forgot or doesn't believe I go to church on Sundays got out of church and came home I don't go anywhere else unless I need to why would I be driving up and down State Route 43 they also made a, a statement one other time that they're supposedly doing that to protect the citizens of Carroll County, Carrollton, against me. Well, really, the citizens need to be protected against that person. Because that person is breaking the law and they think that they're above it because they work for the pipe and oil, I mean, the gas and oil companies 
working on the pipeline. Sooner or later, they are going to be caught. And I'm going to be there when they charge you. And I'm going to be there in court when you're facing the judge and telling the judge you and other people like you are stalking me and I need it stopped once and for all I have told you people I don't know how many times to stop but you do not stop you don't know how to stop there's already been three women three women that committed suicide because of you people but still you laugh about it You laugh about it. God, it, it, like I just read, even the demons believe and they tremble. You don't tremble. You don't tremble. Because there's, you, you have no remorse you have no you're a psychopath really when it comes down to it you think stalking people is okay there's nothing wrong with it But sooner or later, people like you get caught. And then it'll be like somebody else. And blame the victim because you got caught. Hmm. Again. I'm the victim, you're the criminal, you know it, you just need to fess up to it, turn yourself in to the authorities before it's too late for you, because when the authorities do catch up to you, it's not going to be funny, because like I said, I will be there in court. I will tell the judge, throw the book at that person because they are stalking me. They've been stalking me for years on the internet and now stalking me in person. This needs to stop. Yes, I go on YouTube and I make videos. But that does not give anybody any right to stalk somebody. Just because you hate them. And you hate what they say. And you think that they're, they're funny. That they're LOL cow. Laugh out loud cow. Does not give you any right. No matter what country you live in. Harassing and stalking is against the law. Always was, always will be. But you thumb your nose at the authorities because you think YouTube gives you the right to stalk. You think Facebook, Twitter, all those social media accounts, all the other ones that's out there as well that I have, you think they give you the right to stalk. They don't. 
They don't give you the right to stalk anybody or harass anybody. Following somebody is one thing, but when it goes to the point of threatening, telling them they need to get off the internet, tell them that they um, are wrong, calling them all kinds of names. It's wrong. But you get away with it. But you won't get away with it for too much longer. Because the end of the age is near. And I, don't see, I did not say the end of the world. I said the end of the age. The end of this age before Jesus returns is near. I would say why, but I can't because then maybe my video would be flagged. And I don't want to be flagged. So I got to get off of here and pose this here in a little while. God bless you. Have a blessed day.